Hi I am Nick Spoking and in this video I am going to describe you about diabetic leg ulcers and leg infections. Diabetes is closely related to leg ulcers and infections. This is due to poor blood circulation that results due to resistant high blood glucose levels over an extended period of time. Loss of sensation or numbness in the feet may occur making causing leg ulcers and infections to develop. Wound in dash it is a sharp injury on the dermis layer of the skin that leaves it cut, torn or punctured. Chronic venous insufficiency, the, it is a medical condition, where the veins cannot enough oxygen pour blood back to the heart. Peripheral arterial disease, pad, in dash it is a disease in which plaque builds up in the arteries that carry blood to your head, organs, and limbs. The plaque can harden and narrow the arteries over time which may prevent blood flow to the various organs and body parts. Diabetic foot and dash due to persistent high blood sugar level nerves or blood vessels may get damaged which may result in loss of sensation or numbness in the feet. You may not feel a cut, blister or a sore. There may be ulcers and infections and in severe cases may lead to amputation. Venous ulcer and dash veins in the legs carry blood from legs and feet back to the heart. When the veins in the legs are not working well blood accumulates in the lower leg which resists supply of oxygen and nutrients to the tissues. This condition is known as venous ulcer. Arterial ulcers and dash this is a condition when blood is not moving well throughout the feet. This happens due to arteriosclerosis which prevents blood flow through the arteries due to fatty deposits on the artery walls. Arterial ulcers usually develop between the toes, tips of toes and the heels. Pressure ulcers and dash it is a common type of sore that develop due to prolonged exposure to an area of the skin. They are also called bed sores. Diadco capsules and dash it is a wonderful herbal supplement that can be taken besides medication. Foot care guidelines. Shed excess weight. To keep your calf muscles pumping walk and exercise for at least an hour a day. Check your legs and feet regularly for cracks, sores and ulcers. Make sure to moisturize every time after bathing. Take extra caution not to injure your legs while pushing the supermarket trolley or doing housework. Consider protective shin splints. Wear comfortable well-fitting shoes and socks. Do not buy socks with a tighter garter or cuff. Before you put on shoes check the inside of shoes for small stones or rough patches. If you have to stand for long durations of time keep changing positions. Avoid sitting cross-legged and always use padded stool to put up your feet and stretch them out to reduce swelling. Buy diadco capsules from WorldWideWeb.AirbResearchFoundation.com